It never rains, but it quite literally pours for Ford Focus owners. This one behind me has a problem with the electric power steering, and it's all caused by this. Water. Let's get inside and I'll show you what I mean. Thanks, mate. Hi guys, Tim here from ECU Testing. In this video, I'm going to let you in on some of the common causes of electric power steering failures on various Ford vehicles manufactured since 2010. Common symptoms include illumination of the steering warning light and or the message power steering fault service required on the dashboard and the loss of assisted power steering. The most common fault codes to be stored are U3096 control module, U3049 power steering control unit fault, U3053 control module, and finally C102D00C8 high friction inside power steering. Let's start with the simplest issue. So if you have no power steering and the fault code U3096 control module and U3013 battery voltage, then the power steering is more than likely attempting to function with low battery voltage. Often this isn't a failure with the power steering system and the fault code can be cleared if the battery voltage issue is rectified. The battery needs to be tested for its state of charge and most importantly, state of health. Just because it measures the right voltage doesn't mean that it's good. Most of the time, these faults appear under high load conditions, and when the health of the battery is poor, it will fail to meet the demand of the electrical current, causing systems to fail. To check this properly, you will need to use a good quality battery tester and replace the battery if required. Let's delve a little deeper into the water ingress issue I was talking about, which gets in via two places. U3049 and U3053 are fault codes known to be generated when water ingress occurs on the column side of the steering rack. Water ingress has been found to come in around the bulkhead boot and the joint housing of the pinion shaft. The water ingress seeps into the torque sensor housing, damaging the sensor. The fault code U3049 generates intermittently first, and once it has been flagged multiple times, U3053 will then be triggered, which cannot be cleared once present. On this area, the fault code C102D00, high friction in power steering, is caused by excessive mechanical resistance within the power steering rack. The root cause is often due to water ingress on the module side of the rack. The area seen here is one of the main locations of water ingresses, which affects the main internal bearing and in turn generates the fault. You may also experience heavy or noisy steering when this fault occurs. So if you have a loss of power steering and any of these fault codes, then your steering unit has more than likely been water damaged and you will need to replace the entire steering rack. If you've got any questions at all, then feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll do our best to help you out. Oh, fantastic, looks like it stopped raining. Thanks for watching, look after yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I don't think so.